Welcome. Today we'll be making one pan spiced yogurt, rubbed chicken, and herbed potatoes. I'm Chef Bill, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School online. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put together our spice yogurt rub for our chicken. I wanna start off with Greek yogurt. This is whole milk yogurt. This is gonna act as our glue for our rub. I'm gonna add a little bit of curry powder, some turmeric, garlic powder, onion powder, kosher salt, and fresh cracked pepper. I'm going to combine all of this, make sure it's nice and homogenized, well blended, real quick, and we'll get this onto our chicken here in just a minute. So once this is mixed in as well as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our whole chicken, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've taken our chicken out of the refrigerator. We're gonna use a three to four pound chicken. Uh, one thing we wanna do here is we want to line our baking sheet with some parchment paper. Uh, like this parchment paper, it's got the lines here so I can just cut evenly so we don't have a lot of overhang. Uh, next step, we're going to spatchcock our chicken. So what this is great for is getting a nice even cook in that oven when we do this uh, one pan roast. I'm gonna turn it over breast side down, take some good kitchen shears, and I'm gonna cut both sides of this spine and remove that spine. One side. Takes a little bit of practice, but it's easy once you do it a couple of times. And what I like to do with this spine is I'm going to freeze this, and every time I do this, throw one, another piece in the freezer, and I can come back and make some chicken stock. All right, so now that this is actually spatchcocked, I'm going to start by putting our rub on. I'm gonna start with the underside first. And then I'm going to flip it over and start to get all of our spiced yogurt rub onto our chicken. And if you can, try to get underneath that skin as much as possible and that'll lend a nice flavor to that chicken meat too. And then just make sure that that skin is covered up over the top, and this is gonna give that great even cook. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands, and then we're gonna get this into a 450 degree oven. Be right back. Okay, well our chicken has been in the oven for a little while and it's getting close to, uh, time to pull it before we put the potatoes in there. So we're gonna start to make our herb dressing for our potatoes. First thing we wanna do is put our grapeseed oil on there, some ground coriander, ground cumin. Uh, we've got some cilantro paste. some parsley paste, and some garlic paste. And last but not least, we're going to add fresh cracked pepper, and I'm going to just mix this up. Get as much blended as you can, and then we're going to pour this over our fingerling potatoes. and we're going to coat the potatoes as much as we can with that herb to blend. All right, our chicken has been in that oven at 450 degrees for 15 minutes. We're going to take it out of the oven. And we'll put our potatoes onto the sheet pan.
All right, we're gonna lower the temperature of the oven to 375 degrees and I'm gonna get this back in. There. Okay, well our chicken has been in for about 40 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check the temperature. I'm gonna use a quick read thermometer here. And while that's coming up, just looking at the potatoes, they look perfect right now. And what we're looking for is 165 degrees and we're there, perfect. Now the important part is we're gonna let this rest for a little while, about five minutes or so, I'll be right back. All right, now it's time to carve our chicken. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it into quarters. So I'm going to remove the chicken leg quarters from the bird. And I'm going to cut the thigh meat from the actual drumstick. Okay, I'm gonna grab a plate for our tasting and I'll be right back. All right, now for my favorite part, the plating and the tasting. Get some of this breast meat over here, a couple of potatoes. And I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of tzatziki sauce for some added flavor. And then a little bit of garnish of snipped chives. So let's go ahead and dig in. Wow, what a great flavor with that chicken. It's moist, perfectly cooked. Uh, really tasting a lot of the spices in there, the, the cumin, the coriander, and that tzatziki goes really well with this dish. Let me try that potato. Mm. Potato's nice and tender, really getting the flavors of that spice blend that we put all over that. Great dish. So this is one pan recipe that is easy, quick, and delicious. Try it at home. Click the link below for this full recipe and exact measurements. Subscribe for more Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Thank you for cooking with us.